How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, back playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. So we left off right here with the old man telling us to go find that treasure in the shrine over there, then in return he'll give us the paraglider. Let me just talk to him one more time. Okay. <clears throat> fair enough, fair enough. So I noticed there's a little uh, enemy encampment over here. We got a few enemies there. A uh, treasure chest right here. They also have a scout right there. So that's, that's four of the blue bulk goblins. And honestly, I don't think I have enough weaponry uh, to take all of those guys on. So I'm going to go ahead and do the shrine first. So that way we can start building up our arsenal of utilities that we can use. There's another shrine up here, actually. I'm going to mark it. Some enemies right there as well. Hopefully they don't spot us. Oh, man. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, though, wherever you guys might be. Okay, he caught us again, man. And there they rise up again. Okay. Man, he has quite the distance on his visual. Definitely a good uh, good scout they have over there. I'm just going to go wide and around and get to that shrine safely. Not much point fighting the guys right now in master mode until I have a little bit more weapons. That's all. Right, this is a strange stump. I bet you if we put a rock in here or something like that, a Korok will pop out. Koroks are everywhere, man. <clears throat> Just gonna go all the way around. I don't... Ooh. Alright, I probably need uh, Cryonis, Cryosis or something to get that. Yeah, this is not water. This is tar. I'll probably die if I go in there, so... Please excuse me if I uh, sound sick it's because i'm i'm getting over sickness so yeah there, this is definitely the magnesis shrine there's some chests in the water we'll get those as soon as we're done with the shrine actually we can get this one right now what do we got oh, okay just a ruby that'll come in handy later we need some money oh boy our first shrine guys our very first shrine i'm gonna watch the full cutscene. Just because it's the full first shrine, but after that I'll probably be skipping these kind of cutscenes when we activate shrines. Travel gate. You could also travel fast travel to shrines, which is very useful later. Access granted. Oh, my bad, I skipped it. <laughs> I intended to watch cutscene, but it was going so slow I thought it was over. Um, so yeah, once we uh, activate a shrine, but it'll turn blue in the front and orange on the top to signify it is activated yet unbeaten. And once we beat it, the entire thing will turn blue. Let's head on down into the deep. Oh, man. This is going to be su such a great playthrough. Man, that red master mode on the top is just scary, isn't it? Here we are. The Magnesis Shrine. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Omano. In the name of the goddess Ahylia, I offer this trial. Magnesis. Alright, let's get it. Upgrade my Sheikah Slate. Distilling the rune. I absolutely love the abilities that you get in this game. The Magnesis, the Bombs, the Stasis. They're all super cool. Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Ah, thank you so much. Alright. So we only have one, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw that over there. Oh, that was an easy puzzle. Now, there is a chest in every single shrine, so we should always be on the lookout for a chest. Push! Push, Link! Push! Oh, we have a, we have a guard, mini guardian here. No, 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 no. Back up. I'm gonna kill you with this brick. And die. And die. Oh man, he almost shot me. And die. Yeah. That's it, boys. Gotta save our weapons, you know what I mean? 
Easy. I uh, see the chest. I uh, see it. All right, let's walk across this first, and then we're gonna go ahead and recycle this platform. Drop it right here. And I believe we can just grab the chest like this. Oh yeah. What we get? Probably a ruby. Oh, traveler's bow. All right. That's only my second bow, so that's good, I guess. Open! And just like that, guys, we get our first shrine completed. Making good progress. I love this animation, though, when all the lines just explode. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Oman Ao, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of Goddess Hylia, dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Gain. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of Goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. I don't think you work too hard on this trial, man. Yeah, we got our first spirit orb. A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. And he healed us. Oh, thank you. May the goddess smile upon you. I think that uh, we need to get four spirit orbs and then we can get a heart piece. All right, he just disappears and we just get teleported right on back out of the dungeon. Fair trade, dude. Fair trade. Alright. Oh, where's my paraglider, old man? Give me what you promised me. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. Paraglider, please. I encourage you to slow down for a moment, my courageous friend. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. Dramatic pause. It is all connected to that Sheikah state you carry on your hip there. Paraglider, please. I have yet to finish speaking. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. Except that one time. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago. Or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and then I will give you my paraglider. That wasn't the deal, old man. Hmm. Oh? Well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that you won't be a problem for a go young go-getter like you. Oh my goodness. This is youngism. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. This guy is so... Hmm. such a bully. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? That's alright, we can just teleport up there. I admire your eagerness, but allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at that map on your Sheikah slate. Let me guess, I can teleport to the towers. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah slate. I already knew this, old man. You're playing games with me. You, sh you said I got this treasure, you'd give me the paraglider. Such a trickster. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. 
It works. Hey, why don't you hold on to this for me? Yeah, that's, that's what you get. Give me all those arrows. Oh, yeah. What do we got here, boys? Another chest. All right, amber. Very nice. We can sell that for money. Do, 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 do. Opal. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we might actually need this little plank to go get those couple pieces of treasure we saw over in the bog, remember? I just set it right here for now. Ooh. A roasted bass and an apple. Alright. I'm just gonna grab this real quick. Let's see. Oops. I didn't want to use my club, but I accidentally like zoomed in. I was just gonna use this thing. Oh! Falling star! Whoa! Whoa, second episode in and we already saw a falling star. There's no way I could get that, man. Ooh, there's a shrine up there too. Gonna mark it. All right, let's see. Can I use this to get to those treasures? I think I can. Let's bring it all the way over here. Very gently. Just kind of lower it down right there. Ooh, we are good. What we get? Ooh, five ice arrows. That actually is super useful in master mode because I can take on those camps of three a lot easier if I can freeze one. And five fire arrows, fire and ice together. Is there anything? Ooh, what is that? It's just a rock? Oh, it's a chain, a rock on a chain. That is a stump with a hole. Nice. Very nice. I'm not sure how many Koroks are actually in the Great Plateau, but I'm guessing it's quite a few. All right. Now, uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and warp up to the tower because that's what he wanted me to do so I can scout out the rest of the uh, shrines. Let's go ahead and do that now. Definitely beats uh, climbing up the tower, so... Gotta take a sip of my water. Ah, uh, yeah, we haven't even fought any nighttime monsters yet. And look at that! Looks like he can teleport as well. Curious. <laughs> well, you certainly took your time. Did you forget how to f travel instantly? Wow. He's so sarcastic. I'm gonna say, yup, I forgot. Even though you saw me just uh, teleport right here. Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah Slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Actually, I did know that. The pins on your map serve as reference points. Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try to mark the shrines. Alright, there's one right there. Actually, I think I already did mark all the shrines. Yep, yeah, already got that one and then there was one up there. Yep, alright, we're good. Alright. Actually, should I just jump down here I guess so I guess we're gonna jump down here and make our way over to that shrine over there all right that's fine and then the other two that are up on the mountain we're gonna have to get with the uh, we're gonna have to either get the uh, the warm doublet which we can get by crafting a special cooking recipe we have to find the old man's cottage to go on that quest and then if we cook him a special recipe he will give us a warm doublet, which gives us cold resistance. That way we don't freeze up on the mountains. Or, we can just craft food that will uh, keep us warm. So, we got options. Man, look at these platforms. They're just floating up there. How do you even... Uh, you probably have to fly there from the tower. Yeah, you do. Dang, that's... I can't get those guys yet. Oh, man, there's actually a full encampment over there. Should I go try to kill these guys and get the arrows? I think the answer is yes. Alright, let's see. 
I'm gonna go for uh, sneak attack. I'm gonna get the guy who's talking. Oh, that didn't work. I don't really want to waste my weapons, but I guess I don't have a choice. The axe is kind of bad because it knocks them so far away they start regenerating again. Probably not even worth it just for a bow. Oh! That's a lot of enemies. I'm gonna back up here. He doesn't see me. Oh, actually, there's a bunch of arrows. These are gonna come in handy. Look at this, he, he shot all these arrows on the ground. Hey, just keep shooting arrows at me, man. This is great. So many arrows. Oh, that did a lot of damage. I'm just gonna do that again. Wow, that is so much better than using my weapons. My weapons break so fast, but when I shoot them in the face with an arrow, it was like literally almost instantly. Alright, um, yeah, I only have two melee weapons. This is, uh, not exactly the best thing. Look at all the arrows. I think I saw something up here. Let's check it out. Ooh. Oh, my, my. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I don't know if this is enough to kill him. Are the bone guys, bone boys gonna go away? Actually, look at that, he he took their weapon. Alright. Uh oh, they woke up, they woke up, they woke up, oh no. He didn't see me though. He didn't see me. Alright, let's push down the boulder, and let's go ahead and blow them up. We're going to wake them up in a very explosive way. Are you ready for this, guys? He's like, nope, coast is all clear. Guess it was just the wind. I need to get headshots, otherwise it's not even worth it. He doesn't even have a weapon, he's just using his hand. Oh, I didn't even hit him. Do I even have- okay, I do. God give him credit, man. He's willing to just go in there with his hands. Alright, I don't know if that was worth. I mean, we cleared the camp, but I have, like, no weapons. I almost kind of want to just run in, like, take the weapons and run away. It's not even worth it to kill the guys. Um... Oh boy. I bet you there's a lot of weapons in this camp. Should I do it? Should I just run in there, take the weapons, and run away? Ooh, I got a better bow, but... I'm not sure if it's worth it to snipe this guy. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Definitely worth it. And now, the grand finale. 
That wasn't it. That wasn't it. How, how am I hitting the thing and not the rope? Oh! Alright, they're mad now. Oh man. Five arrows. I don't even have a weapon. Alright, give me that one, give me that one. Are there any other weapons? If I can get headshots, it's worth it, but if I don't get the headshot, it's like not even. You know what? Is there a chest in here? Or is it even worth fighting these guys? Oh, like he stopped regenerating. There is a chest. Oh, that's a big one. He's got a spiked bow too, or a spiked weapon. That's gonna take a lot to kill him, but... Oh man. Do I even have enough weapons to kill him even if I... Oh yeah, I got a lot of bows. But I only have four arrows, so I can't kill him. Oh man. I don't have enough weapons to kill him, guys. This is why I need the bombs. Let's just go do the, the trial. The shrine. If I go to the shrine, I think it's the bomb shrine. And that, that'll help us a lot. Not to waste weapons. I think it's just right over here. Ooh. What have we here? Part of master mode is just knowing when to not like engage a camp. Whereas in normal mode, I would just, you know, destroy every single camp of enemies I found. Alright, I'm pretty sure one of these is alive. Which one is it, guys? One of these guardians is alive. Yep, I knew it was. Let's see if we can defeat our first guardian. Our first crippled guardian. Easy. Ain't no problem for me, boys. Alright. I think the shrine's on the other side of this massive wall. Just gonna climb the wall imagine not being able to climb in this game it would like be such a worse game all right there we go let's get this second shrine out of the way boys making good progress learning about master mode learning to not engage enemy camps it just wastes all my weapons you know until i get more uh you know stronger weapons it's like not even worth it the bomb trial. This will help me immensely. Shika Slate authenticated. Distilling rune. Time to take another sip of water. Bloop. Give me the bombs. Oh yeah. Round bombs and square bombs. Boom. Literally. Yep, yep. yep. Beautiful. Alright. Yep. Now let's look for the, the chest, right? There's a chest. My guess. Is it's right here. What I get? Give me a weapon, please. Oh! That is our best weapon yet, boys. Oh, man. Maybe we can go take that little camp after this. I want to get that spiked club that dude had. 
Alright, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna just go like this. And, uh, gonna let that thing deliver. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go across. That, but that's not all. Oh, yeah. Wait. What if, what if you just launched me? Oh, not quite. I always wonder if you could use that. Oh, wait. There is a chest. Another chest. This shrine has two. Launch me. Oh, it launched me pretty good that time. Oh, what a generous shrine. Is this the only shrine in the game that has two chests? Wow. Alright. Now we gotta put a bomb in. Okay, that wasn't it. I was trying to be fast. Haste makes waste. Uh-oh. Hurry up, Link. Hurry up. There we go. Direct hit. And that's it for this shrine. Man, I like that I got a, a claymore. That is very nice. Though I prefer the one-handed weapons, so you know. Claymore 10 attack is going to be amazing on this on this great plateau. Got our second orb. Making good progress, guys. Let's go see if the enemies respawned in that skull camp. And if they didn't, I'm going to finish it out. But if they did respawn, I don't know, man. We'll see. If they if they did respawn, hopefully the uh, the bomb barrels respond as well. Then it's not, not a problem. Not with this claymore. All right, let's just break that while we got the bombs. Um, is there anything, like, secret around this area? I don't really remember. Let's check really quick. I don't think there is a chest over here. Let's check over the other side real quick. Oh, how did I not see this? Hey, we got the Nintendo Switch shirt. Well, it does the same armor as my current shirt, so there we go. Now we got the switch. Anything else? There's a couple butterflies over there. Might come in useful. Let's go grab them. Those are summer wing. Oh, another boy. There we go. Nice try. You better not have scared away my butterflies. You did. Ugh. That's all right. Got a pile of parts. Man, adventure awaits us, guys. I can't wait until we get off of the Great Plateau and the game opens up. Oh, man, it's going to be great. So much exploration in this game. That's a bridge of Elden, I think. All right, which means that that's Lake Hylia. I'm pretty sure that's Lake Hylia right there, guys. Dang. All right, um, yeah, let's, we're getting sidetracked. Easy to do in this game, but it's good to explore. You're always rewarded, almost, when you explore in this game. Let's make our way back and around. We're actually pushing 30 minutes on this video, which is unfortunate because I am having so much fun. I just want to keep playing. okay if we go a few minutes over. Let's see if that Boko camp respawned. Because if it didn't, we are going to come and destroy them. I don't think it did. The, I don't see the archer. Oh, man. All right, let's take care of business here, boys. Oh, they hear me? Interesting. Oh, they're coming outside to take a look. No, go back inside, guys. Go back inside. All right, now we got bombs too. We can, we can do a little bit of damage. All 
They're gonna come check out the bomb. He's out. Where's his weapon? Where's his weapon? I wanted the weapon so badly. Alright, Claymore's already badly... Badly damaged. That's alright. We only did half of his health. This is actually useful for stopping their, uh, their regen. Oh, he kicked it back at me. Are you kidding me? Whoa, he like teleported behind me, dude. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I will use everything in my arsenal to beat you. Uh-oh. He's regenerating so much health, guys. This guy is so hard. That didn't hurt him. Oh, finally. Dude, I was getting so nervous that my axe broke. I don't even know. I'd have to kill him with my bow and arrow. That would have been tough. But he didn't have his spiked club this time. I completely used up my entire claymore, too. I hope this is a weapon, because I got almost nothing here. Please? Oh, well, five fire arrows is cool, but I would have much preferred a weapon. Wow, he regenerated so much health. Woo! Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, we're going to end this episode right here. We completed two shrines and our first skull camp. Feels good, man. Hope to see you guys in the next episode of Breath of the Wild. This is Ocean Sword. Take it easy, friends.